Hey yo. Pretty girl at a mercy. She said she with a friend curse. It's your girl Coast AKA Baby Girl Toast, AKA VGT. Today is gonna to be pretty cute and simple. I'm gonna be doing a raw and honest Q&A life update. Straight to the point, keeping it cute, keeping it simple. Because we have a lot of things we need to get into. Vision 2022, this 2022, the year of abundance. Basically eating everything up that we touch. Period. That's, that's the quote. For me, anyways, there's a lot happening for me in 2022. Like, I'm graduating. I'm graduating. I'm also part of YouTube's creator class of 2022. Uh, before we get into all of that good stuff, I want to rewind on 2021. I think I'm actually done. Yeah. 2021 was the year of uncomfortable growth and a lot of growing pains. I was in with imposter syndrome, not feeling like I knew what I was doing. I was very lost, but I still was able to try new things. Top three things that I loved that I did in 2021 was like one, I started vlogging more. So my personal life, like what I'm doing, like books I'm reading, like so, like basically my self growth journey with a little bit of me size in my life. I started a new series called I Your Big Age, which I am so happy about. Talking about mental health in the series was very important to me. I think that's one of the biggest things I was really happy that I did because it was so important for me to show you that side. I know that it was a co uncomfortable conversation, but that's kind of what the essence of I Your Big Age is basically to have comfortable, uncomfortable, all types of conversations that I feel like we keep avoiding or conversations conversations that I feel like are lightheaded or conversations that I just think about in my head and I debate with my friends. So I'm happy that I was able to do that because then that kind of showed that it's not necessarily, this is not a comedy show. Like, I hit 20k on YouTube. I just want to say thank you to every single person that has set my vlogs, that have sent my videos, that have subscribed, that has liked, that has shared, that has told a friend about me, like, or like any form of support, it really like touches me deeply, like for real, it does. Starting chit chat videos, like, you know, like girl talks, like I literally this year, I'm trying to make more girl talks, topic based girl talks, like anything you guys want, like comment, cause I do try to respond, like, and I always like to interact with subscribers so I know what I'm doing, so we can like actually build a BGT family and it's not just like, a hype house like i really want this to be like a proper like gang like a family like a unit i want you guys to understand that if i'm not here is because i'm actually very very busy in my personal life not because i just want to abandon you guys and leave you guys starving no i think about you guys like every day i sleep i wake up i think about you like i really do think about you guys like every day because i really really really, really i'm passionate about making content and the only thing that's restricting me right now is time and my attention towards like my education but once that's sorted out then you're gonna be getting me in your faces like 24 7 like what are you talking about 2022 honestly i'm just flowing i'm not really gonna tell you i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna i'm gonna explore the world like I would, nah like honestly it's a vibe like any i just want to create anything that comes in my mind let me express my creative side let me be loose let me you know let me have fun because i'm honestly really like proud of what i've done so far and i w really want to keep my content as authentic as it's always been so it's not forced or it's not batched batched up because i need to be consistent if that makes sense once i'm out of school then you're going to be getting quality and consistency you feel me getting to the exciting thing i have a big announcement guys oh crap so i am part of youtube's creative class of 2022 I'm black, so my perspective is black. There's always... It feels amazing to be seen amongst a class of other amazing creators. <laughs> that was a terrible wink. Talk to me nice, okay? So I'm so excited that I'm part of this. Shout out to YouTube for giving me this opportunity. I'm like... 
it feels so unreal it feels like oh my god i can't believe it <laughs> i'm thankful for like all like people that have been part of my journey i had a plan i just needed a platform shout out to my friends shout out to my family shout out to you guys like honestly i would literally be nowhere if it wasn't for you guys like for all my new subscribers it's a vibe you're gonna get me in a goofy type of mood today you're gonna get me in a serious type of mood today you're gonna get me talking about mental health today you're gonna get me going la vida loca tomorrow like i just want you guys to actually send me a bunch of questions on instagram if you're not following my instagram like what is he doing Y'all always in my business. Y'all always asking you know, all these questions that like, you know that in real life you will ask. Um, you guys are asking me about like exes, my ex, especially my recent ex. I ain't finna talk about it. Do you have expectations for Valentine's Day? Realistically, it's either I'm gonna be buried in schoolwork or I'm going to spoil myself that day. Treat myself nice, maybe buy something cute for myself. Because I mean, soft babes treat themselves nicely. How are you so amazing? Cause I yeah. How's your mental health? I really love you guys. I really love you guys. I'm actually good. Like no fake. I'm good. Like I'm actually good. Like I'm at peace. I'm good. Shout out to God. Shout out to me. Showing up for myself. How are you mentally? What are you going to do when you're done with school? Stay tuned. Cause I can't admit to I don't know. No, and I'm not trying to sound like I know because I actually don't know. I think a heartbreak stories part two is needed urgently. You guys have literally been spamming me about a part two of this heartbreak story. You guys have me healed. But honestly, really, if you really want to run it up, get this video to 1,000 likes and I will make a part two of the heartbreak video. What's your relationship status? Single. Would you say you have a close relationship with God? My intimacy with God really increased in 2021. I started being more um, conscious and intentional about how I'm actually living my personal life. And honestly, I'm on my journey to be extremely close, but right now, like, I'm still like definitely a work in progress. I found so much peace that I really can't explain, and it sometimes brings me to tears, like how much I've grown and I've changed so far it keeps getting better so i can only give thanks to god for everything because honestly where i am today is literally by the grace of god what advice would you give to your 18 year old self love yourself and take out time to actually find out who you are and you're enough and everything that you need is literally inside of you you have such a beautiful smile and i, I really want to always keep you smiling i want you to always do things that keeps that smile on your face that makes you happy that makes you alive that makes you feel like you're actually living and and i love you any epic plans including travel this year i don't want to give up too much information but just know i'm dora the explorer if you guys are missing me i don't like to talk i just like to do and then be like here's the proof in the pudding what's your major in college i'm majoring in accounting specialization so far i'm balancing <laughs> being an accounting major and doing youtube like this like i'm honestly sick in the head how do you get over breakups in general not internalizing you guys not being together it being something to do with you taking it as it is not it taking it personal letting it go and moving on with your life i didn't judge myself whenever i felt an emotion i just express myself as much as i could i'm not taking anything personal and actually focusing on putting all that love that you give to someone else back into yourself putting up the time that you spent like being with that person with other things and also not talking to anyone at all actually help because one thing i personally am always against is like hopping to a next person after you break up with someone if you have not fully processed the breakup like taking out time out for myself just being me chill like to fully process the breakup treating myself spoiling myself elevating my mind elevating my body elevating my soul leveling up as a human being all these things are like going to make me a better woman eventually and whenever whoever i'm going to end up with next like i'm meeting you on another level that i've unlocked for myself and that's like epic i keep getting better like it doesn't stop expect the unexpected expect me to keep going crazy go stupid expect new ideas and also just expect me to keep outdoing myself keep stepping on your necks like but if i miss a, if i miss a couple weeks don't kill me
okay don't kill me hold it down for me you know your girl is just trying to get her degree and if you are new here and this is your first time seeing my lovely face welcome to vibes cartel is the captain of the ship tosin and without further ado subscribe to my youtube channel bye guys